What's up guys, welcome back. Russell Marine Products, Anchor Light for our Blade Series Power Pole. I'm gonna show you how to get it installed. Very simple project. Let's jump right into it. All right, so taking it out of the box. Everything you need right here in the plastic and there isn't much to it. So you have the light itself with the assembly, the power wire coming off of it, and then a couple bolts and nuts. All right, that's all that's in the box. Little tip before we go to actually put this on the boat. So if you look inside, you have your two wires coming down from the LED up top. On the assembly, on the inside, there's gonna be two grooves, one on each side, one here and one on the other side over here. I'll put a picture on your screen just in case it doesn't show up well in the video. What you wanna do is leave yourself a little bit of slack up here and then take the wires, doesn't matter which one goes on whatever side, doesn't matter, put the wires in that groove and then take a piece of tape and tape the wires into that groove. And I'll show you when I'm done here, I'll show you what I mean. I'll give you a, uh, a look at how it looks, but this will keep the wires from getting pinched when we actually put it on the blade. All right, so here you can see what I did there, hopefully. Just run those wires across in those grooves, put the tape over it, and uh, just to hold them in those grooves so when we go to pop it on the blade, it doesn't get pinched. All right, so we're obviously installing this on the starboard or the driver's side of the boat. So what you wanna do with the wiring before you actually attach it to the blade, come up here, you see the, the main nut and bolt that hold the knuckle in place at the very top right here. You wanna count down to the fifth hole. So one, two, three, four, five. That's the hole we're gonna feed our wiring in um, in through to get it inside the power pole. So you're just gonna do one wire on each side, obviously. So we're gonna take the black. My light's gonna sit like that. The black is on this side, so the black is gonna go through this side of the bleed. So one, two, three, four, five. We're gonna feed it down into the channel. And you wanna feed it in through the outside like I'm doing here. Pull it all the way through. We're gonna do the same thing with the white on the other side. So fifth hole down. I'm just gonna take the white and feed it in through that into the channel. So now you can see we have both of our wires inside the channel here. So now we can go ahead and just pull the wiring. You don't have to pull it too hard, but just make sure there's not much slack in it. And then we're just simply going to line the blade up with these holes, the bigger holes. There's one, two, three, four bigger holes on the assembly. They're gonna line up with these, the holes on here. So you can't really screw this up. Just line up the top hole on the assembly with the top hole of the blade pop it on like that. And now we can take the supplied nut, um, two nuts and bolts and permanently attach it. And I'm just gonna do that hand tight for right now. And I'll show you what we have to do with the wiring to get it inside the boat. So we're just gonna take the supplied bolts, the two smaller holes, one here and one here on the assembly. That's where the bolts are gonna go through. So now what we can do is take the two wires and we're gonna feed them up over the top inside the channel of this black support here. There's room up here above it. So just take your two wires. There's plenty of room up there. Just feed them up and over. And if you have a 10 foot blade, you may have two of these supports that you have to go up and over. The eight only has this one here, but the, the 10 footers I believe have one up high and then a second one down low. So we're just gonna pull both wires just like that. And I may even take a piece of tape. I don't think you have to do this, but I may actually take a piece of tape and tape the wires up inside um, just so they're not hanging down loose. Again, I don't think you have to do that. I'm just gonna do it just to be safe. I'll go back and do that though at the end. Um, so then all we're gonna do is bring it straight down the channel and there's room on above the piston here, between the piston and the top of the blade, there is room back there to kind of sneak them down through. And now that we have them, I'll put a picture on your screen, but now that we have them down here, you can actually see the hydraulic hoses. We're just gonna follow them up through um, and pop them out the top here where the hoses go. So you can see if you just put them up through that channel, they pop out right here for you. 
And what I'm going to do, um, I'm actually going to leave a little bit of slack right here and just very loosely zip tie them to the hydraulic hoses so they don't end up like popping out um, outside the blade on me when I'm deploying or stowing the, uh, the power pole. All right, so quick look at the wiring. You can see when you put this bottom bolt in, make sure your wires are up over that bolt. Okay, just a little tip there. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but I did put some tape back there to secure the wiring up into, uh, sorry about the glare, I'm not sure if that's gonna show up, but I did put a piece of tape right there, ran them down over this knuckle, so they're up over the top, down, up over the top of the piston, right back in there. And then when you come down here to the bottom, you can see they pop out back in here and then you just bring them down, follow the hydraulic hoses in through that channel. And this is where they pop up here. All right, now we are gonna have to add some wiring. They don't really give you enough of that. I guess that would be my only complaint so far, which minor, no big deal. I have plenty of wiring and butt connectors. So I am gonna add some wiring onto these and then we'll, we'll I'll show you how I'm gonna get it into the boat and connect over here to the, uh, the light. And I did go back and add zip ties very loosely. You can see one right here and one down in here. Um, they're, they're, they're not too loose. I mean, they're gonna hold them tight to the hydraulic line, but I definitely didn't snug them down. Um, the zip ties, if, if I had my other hand free, I'd show you, they actually will very slightly slide. Um, so I just wanted to show you, I did add those zip ties to secure it to the hydraulic hose. All right, so we're just gonna add about, I don't know, maybe three or four feet of it's 18 gauge wiring coming off the light, so I'm just gonna use 18 gauge as well, wiring that I had here at the house. Black is obviously gonna to go to black. Red is gonna to go to white. Using the same waterproof butt connectors and heat shrink tubing that I use for all of my wiring installs. Never let me down. So that's what we'll be using for this. So I'm just gonna go ahead and get this attached and we'll run it into the boat. All right, guys, there you have it. Nice weatherproof, watertight connection. Using these butt connectors and this heat shrink tubing that has the adhesive inside, you will never have an issue with water or weather getting into your connections. I've used these for years. I've had people ask what brand I use. I will put a link down below for you guys if you wanna check them out. But if you use these watertight butt connectors and this heat shrink tubing over them, you will never have an issue with weather or water. I don't care what you're using them on. I've never had an issue in all the years that I've used it. So now what I'm gonna do, um, Instead of using actual zip, regular zip ties, I'm gonna use these Velcro zip ties and I'll put a link to these down below as well. You've seen these in a couple of my past videos. I like using these whenever possible. Um, you can't really snug these up too much. You can make them nice and tight, but they're not like an actual hard plastic like a zip tie where you have to worry about a cutting into your wiring. So I'm just gonna take my, my two wires coming out of the, the, the light and I'm just gonna run them along with my hydraulic hoses for my, my blades, I put this sleeving over them, so that's what you're looking at right here. I'm just gonna run them along underneath there so you can't really see them, and zip tie them with these Velcro zip ties all the way into the back of the boat. So I'm just gonna kind of loosely put them on there for right now, and then I'll come back and snug everything up. So I'm just gonna feed them over here, and I have a clamshell right down in here. You probably can't see it, it's behind my bulb here, um, but that's the clamshell. Uh, that I'm gonna go, that's gonna allow me access into the back, uh, the, to the battery compartment, and then we can feed it over here and connect into the light. So that's all I'm gonna do right now. I'm just gonna cut the video right here until we get inside. Um, all I'm doing is feeding, the, feeding it over, using these Velcro zip ties every so often, and we'll get into the back of the boat. All right, so I'm gonna show you two ways that you can install this light. The way that the instructions call for, and then the way that I did it, and I'll explain why I did it differently. All I've done off camera is I fed that wiring through the back, I fed it over underneath the deck, and I popped it out where my light was. Your light's only held on by screws. I just had to remove those three screws and undo the Deutsch connector that was underneath the deck, and you can just pull this light straight out like this. So the way the instructions, oh, and then I just brought the wire, this is the wiring coming from the light. So the way the wiring instructions call for, all you're simply gonna do is, if you wanna keep this active, meaning you know if you wanna be able to still plug, put your pole in here, which I would recommend that, instead of cutting the power off to this, you're just gonna tap into it. And what I mean by that is, all you're gonna do is take your positive coming from your light, 
you're gonna take the white wire or the positive um, on your light assembly from the boat. You're just gonna cut that in half. Now I'm not gonna do this because obviously I'm doing it a different way, but it's very simple. All you're gonna do is cut this wiring in half. You're gonna take a butt connector, put one half into one end. In the other end, you're gonna take your positive coming from your blade light, twist it up with the other end from the white wire and put that those two wires together into the other side of the butt connector. So in one side of the butt connector, you're gonna have the positive from your blade light, one end of the white wire that you cut, and then on the other end of the butt connector, you're gonna have the other end of the white. Hope that makes sense. If you guys have any questions on it, let me know, but it's, it's that simple. Then you're simply gonna do the same thing for the ground or the black. You're just gonna snip the ground, the black wire, take your black wire coming from your blade light, twist it up with one end. So picture this wire being cut. You'd have your black from your blade light, one end of the black wire that you cut going into one end of the buck connector, okay? And then the other end from the black wire that you cut going into one side. So you're gonna have one wire going into one end, two wires going into the other. All right, now, I'm not gonna do it that way because by doing it that way, anytime you hit your switch on your dash to power up your socket, that blade light is gonna be on. I happen to use my Yolo Tech power stick a lot for when I'm recording on the water. So, which that actually plugs into this socket. So if I hook it up this way, anytime I'm recording with my GoPro and my Yolo Tech power, my Yolo Tech power stick on, my blade light is gonna be on. Now I do a lot of recording during the daylight, so I don't want that light on all the time. All right, so the way I'm gonna do it is, we're gonna put this light back in right back into the boat. This is gonna be out of the equation. So let me get this Deutsch connector. I'm gonna actually just, I'm gonna pull these wires out of here because they're gonna to go to a different location. And I'm simply just going to put this light back in, hook up the Deutsch connector, and this light is still gonna have power by the dash switch. And then I'll show you what we're gonna do with the blade wires. All right, so hopefully that wasn't too confusing for you guys. If you do it the typical way, once you connect your positive and negative to your anchor light on your boat, you're done. Hit your anchor switch on your, on your dash, make sure it works, you're all done. If you wanna do it my way, we're gonna do it to a switch, to its own independent switch. So my wiring is not even gonna to touch my anchor light from my boat. That is still gonna be completely separate. This is very simple to do as well. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna take the positive and negative coming in from the anchor light on the blade. The negative is just simply gonna go to ground. You're just gonna take that to whether it's the negative side of your battery, negative side on your, um, your bus bar if you have one in the boat, which we do. We have a video covering that on the channel as well, but that's it. Just take the negative from the blade light to a ground. The positive, all we are gonna do is I'm gonna run this wire I'm gonna fish it up through my boat, up to where my dash is, because we're gonna use this switch from Blue Water LED. It's a simple push button switch. It has two wires on it. These two wires are both positive, okay? There is no ground on this switch. You're gonna install this into your positive line. So all you're gonna do to make that work, if you're not familiar with wiring, it's very, very simple. Take your positive coming from your blade light, run it to wherever you're gonna have this switch, all you're gonna do is connect your positive from your blade light to one of the wires coming off of the switch. I'm gonna use those waterproof butt connectors like I do for everything. Off the other wire of the, the switch, and it doesn't matter which way, you can bring your blade light to the brown, to the blue, does not matter, these are interchangeable. So positive from the blade light to one of the wires using a butt connector. Off the other wire, you're gonna use another butt, another butt connector another piece of 18 gauge wiring, and that's the wire that you're gonna take back to either your bus bar or your battery, whatever you, wherever you wanna draw power from, okay? That's gonna enable you to turn on your blade light with this switch. Turn it on and off independently from everything else, okay? So don't overthink it, it's very, very simple. Negative coming from the blade light goes direct to a ground, whether it's your negative on your battery or your bus bar. The positive coming from the blade light goes to one wire on this type of switch. Off the other wire of this switch, 
you're gonna take another piece of red wire for positive to either your battery or your bus bar, okay? That's all there is to it, don't overthink it. I see a lot of people get confused when you start throwing switches in the mix. This type of switch is awesome for this type of connection. It's very simple to use waterproof you can mount it anywhere on your boat i'll put a picture on the on the dash of um you know where i have mine and uh that's all there is to it guys so i'm gonna go ahead and get that done i'm not gonna show that on camera just because it's very simple all i'm gonna do is route the wiring up through the boat to where the switch is gonna be and then take another wire from the switch back to my bus bar all right guys so all the wiring is ran push button switch is hooked up this is definitely the way to go if you use your light socket on your boat for anything other than just your anchor light for nighttime fishing or low light fishing so if i hit that push button switch you're going to see that the anchor light on the blade is going to come on but the power stick will not if i turn so the blade is controlled independently with that switch now if i hit the stock anchor button the anchor light on the boat this will get power but this will not and that's the biggest reason I did this because again, I use my power stick for a lot of recording during daylight hours um, and I don't want the blade light on when I have this getting power. So this just separates the two. Um, this is definitely the way to go if you use your socket for anything other than your anchor light. All right, if not, feel free to hook it up like the instructions call for. Obviously nothing wrong with that. It would work perfectly fine. So hopefully I made the wiring easy for you guys to understand. Um, if you have any questions, let me know um, on the wiring. If you're not familiar, it's not hard, don't overthink it. And if I can walk you through anything, um, feel free to let me know, I'll help you out the best I can. So appreciate you guys watching. Questions, comments, concerns, as always, leave them down below, we'll get them addressed. And uh, we'll catch you on the next video. Take care.